he had it from the jump. I think he understood his assignment. You know, knowing that Rudy was always going to you know, be a, a helper defensively, so he's always going to be back. So, you know, we just took advantage of it early. You know, I think I had like four assists in two minutes just kicking it back to him because um, just how their play style. And then, you know, once a, a talented player like KP gets hot, it's hard to turn his water off. And um, he kept it rolling all night for us. Seemed like you guys were pretty aware that he was close to his career high, and then uh, everyone was very happy once he got it. Um, how would you describe that sequence and what it was like, kind of being part of it? Uh, it's always fun when you can get somebody a career a career night. It's uh, very very hard to play in this league, very hard to do anything in this league, and uh, anytime players can have um, career highs, it means a lot to them. And um, as a player, you understand how much it means, and this is good for KP to. One, get out of a little slump he's kind of been in, and, you know, he carried us the whole night. You guys are now a quarter of the way through the season. What have you and your teammates learned about this team? Uh, I mean, we got, we got a lot of work to do. We got a lot of work to do for sure. And I think that, um, you know, for the most part, you know, when we're clicking um, offensively, we're usually a better defensive team where, that can be the case. You know, I feel like we have to consistently be defensive minded every single night and let that kind of just carry us. But, um, you know, first 20 games, 11 and 10, yeah, we got we got work to do. So. This, this was roughly the point last year where the team started to slide a little bit. Granted, there were injuries and illnesses. Mm -hmm. but how, how does this team avoid um, we're, we're all going to fight. We're going to fight. Last year we gave man, we, and we quit. And, um, that's not going to be us this year. So. Talk to you, I guess, this couple of games that you were going to be in the third quarter, I guess, what did that do to kind of break the game apart? Um, it, it, it did a lot. You know, I think the entire game, you know, they really didn't want to play and they came out, gave us a big punch. Basketball is a game of runs, and we we just took their run, and um, it was a very very important moment for us because you know we were up twenty, and then they got to ten, had a little momentum, but we just just kept going and kept going, and uh, it worked out for us. A lot of teams are better at home than they are on the road, but given how many road games you guys have coming, how can you improve? Uh, how you guys have played away from home? I mean, we got lock in. We got lock in. We got to be aggressive. We got to understand that teams are always going to make runs and our confidence can't waver from other teams runs. And it's going to be a very, very important stretch for us. 17 out of 23, right? That's what it is. Extremely important to pick up road wins because you want to protect home in, in this league in a regular season. And, you know, if you can go 500 on the road, you know, steal a couple of games, then you're putting yourself in position to, um, not work as hard when April comes. Coach pregame kind of described coming out of the three game skid, an era of desperation that you guys you know you beat the guys play with it. What was the mentality that you guys had to come out of? We were real loose. Um, loose but focused. I think we understood we, we, we knew how they were gonna play us and we just exploited it. Plain and simple. They did a great job. Wes did a phenomenal job tonight. Um, you know, with his rotations, timely, his adjustments, um, and game plan. So uh, it was an all-around team win. On the rotations, actually, you kind of been a bit of the bridge with the second unit, I guess. What do you feel like you can you know, provide in that role? Um, you know, we've had some issues with our, our second unit a little bit this year, um, just from a consistency standpoint. But we had also had injuries and. Um, for me, I, I think that's a time and place where I can be really, really aggressive throughout the game. Obviously, if I'm, if I'm playing with KP and, and Brad, um, you know, I'm trying to just um, trying to figure out the word I want to use. Be the glue and figure out and, and get guys the ball. But when I'm playing in the second unit, I can be more aggressive and get downhill and um, also still play make as well and uh, go against second unit level player, so. 
What did you think of Gaffney and Anthony Edwards at the Rams twice there in the first half? Uh, I was extremely happy for Gaff today. Gaff had a phenomenal game. Uh, I think he's been in a little, a little slump lately. Um, you know, might not be happy with you know some of the minutes he may be playing, but he came out and played with, with phenomenal energy tonight and really helped us out. Um, you know, his activity level was was huge, and uh, it was just glad to see him have a good game like that. I have to admit, I feel good today. Eh? <laughs> Who has the first question? Congrats on your career high tonight. I mean, you had four threes in the first like six minutes. Do you have a feeling this is going to happen tonight? Uh, I, I would say after the first half, I was like, okay, 29. I think that's the most I've made. And so I said, I have to try to go for it. I think I thought that I was not going to get it because we were going to blow them out like by 30 and then not maybe play the fourth. I was kind of, I was thinking about that scenario also, but, but, uh, the game was somehow, some, some way it was close. So, uh, so yeah, had a career high and, and yeah, very happy. Who said that you shooting from three was kind of part of the strategy to counter Gobert? Um, how did that kind of work in your favor? How did it play into what you guys wanted to play? Yeah, no, I was, I was, I had those first three looks that were pretty open. Once I felt that ball, once I saw that ball go in, I mean, I was in a good rhythm, and yeah, my teammates just kept finding me out on pretty open uh, throughout the game. So, knocked them down, felt good, and, uh, and didn't look back. Just kept kept going, and uh, it was a, a good night. I understand you got the defensive belt. What, um, what was working for you defensively? I don't know. I think I mean, it's, uh, defensively we're okay. We're not great. I would say you know they still scored. Uh, Scored a bunch and 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 shot decent uh, percentages. I was just trying to as every night I tried to protect the rim, got a steal or two, and and um, I was just playing my game defensively. Uh, so yeah, I told uh, that uh, Thrill had some good uh, will, had some good uh, defensive uh, plays. So it's me and him were were uh, we both got the ball tonight. Did you guys had halftime when you were aware that? The career high was 40. Sorry? Did you know that the career high that you had yeah, yeah, was 40? Yeah, yeah, of course. And I guess, uh, how was the uh, water bottle shower? Oh, yeah. No, I was, uh, I looked at Rui and he had this like cheeky smile on. I was like, some, something's going, going to happen or I don't know why he's smiling. And then as soon as I got, got up to get the belt, it was, yeah, it was a shower and uh, everybody was happy for me. So uh, that's a good feeling. And, and you know, your, ha your teammates being happy for you. So, I enjoy that moment. Hey, KP, great night. Um, you were clicking Kuz, Bill. When you have a night, big three like this, just what is the potential of your team? Yeah, no. I mean, we have the firepower and uh, offensively. I think it's uh, some nights we get into this a uh, little bit of uh, like back and forth with the other team where we can actually kind of lock in defensively and just keep playing our game freely offensively. And, um, and I think that's when we're really going to uh, really going to be like a a high level team, and we, I believe we I believe we can get there. We need more experience. We need more minutes together. We need everybody to get more experience, and and um, and yeah, and I think we're on our way there. You know, this is our first season playing together, and and we're 20 games into the season, and I, I feel like the chemistry, thanks to those two guys, Beal and Kuz, I think they're leading the that that our chemistry as a, as a group. Um, we are where we are, and I think we're only getting started. You know, the second night of a back to back, just talk about the mental toughness you saw from the team tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, we knew that that loss, even though maybe at the end of the game it looked okay, down 10 to Boston, but we knew that, you know, we didn't come out the way we should be coming out to, to, game, to a game like that. And, and, uh, and yeah, we knew that we had to protect home court, bounce back. We had another opportunity, which is the cool thing about the NBA. And, and, uh, and we came out ready from the start. You know, we made that run 15 to 4, I think, early on. And, and, and yeah, just just wanted to keep our our, our uh, foot on the gas. KP, you got your team is now a quarter of the way through the season. What have you what have you and your teammates learned about this season? Um, I think as yesterday, as I said yesterday after the game, that what we know is that we are not at that level where we can 
you know, take some time off during the game and kind of go through the motions. Like we, if we want to be, um, I don't know, top five, top six team, uh, then we have to be on at all times. You know, we cannot let some of these games slip. Um, but we will get there. We will get there. I think most, all of us, have the right mindset, and and that's necessary if we want to be a winning team. And and uh, and yeah, and, and we're working through that. And coaches are doing their part, and we have to do our part. And and if it if it all comes together as the way we envision it, I think we'll get where we need to get. It seemed like a lot of your teammates were encouraging you before you got a career high, and then celebrating it afterwards. What did that mean to you? Yeah, no, it was great. It was great. Uh, they were kind of, I think there were some talks about taking us out already, and I think some of the like coups was, no, no, you got to get your career high, and uh, and I think maybe Wes made the decision to keep me in for you know a couple more plays, um, and yeah, and then I got the career high, and you could see Corey the way Corey was celebrating. And, and uh, and cools and everybody. So, as I said, it was you know it's a great feeling and um, and uh, it's you know it's the, the good thing that we have is that no matter who would have that kind of a night, the rest of the team would be happy for that person. You know, and that's that's the really cool part. Things in the second half when you had a couple offensive rebounds and then finally got the end one, you did the kind of fist into the palm of your hand. Where'd you get that celebration from? Honestly, it was super random. I just did it because I, I didn't know what to do. And uh, I, I didn't know it was the Polish hammer kind of similar, right? So, uh, you know, from now on, I might start using it.